Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C47S size 2 saltwater shrimp hook. What we need is a piece of easy body, black easy body. Uh, we measure the length we want where the hook will enter the tubing and what we do then is we take our scissors closed and we put them in between the weave of the tube and we open them up to make a little hole or a little ho opening should I say like that and then we can put the tube onto the hook like so so we take our Dyneema tying thread or GSP just move this out of the way and we just attach this to the front of the hook shank just behind the hook eye this has to be nice and secure get rid of that then we take a long cock hackle and we strip off the fibres at the base of the hackle then we take our scissors and we just nip a tail shape into the hackle. So we then cover the hackle with a UV resin on both sides. Move the tube up. Now before we do this, sorry. What we should do here is we just take the end of this tube and we just just singe the edges a little bit just to keep it uh, just so the uh, tying thread later has a bit of purchase. So we go back to the hackle and we take our hackle and we place it, thread it into the centre of the tube. here until you come to the correct length. We want the tail of course to be correct. So that's right there and we'll just tie that onto the hook shank. Just take that the tail is correct still. There we go. Now I can remove that. And we want to tie that nicely down. So then we've got the tail and the body. So now we have to tie down the, the tube. bit slippery but I don't like to burn the front of the tube because you get a build up at the head and I don't want that. There we are. Move forward. That's looking good. Tie that nice and tight. Take our whip finish tool and we give this a couple of whip finishes. Remove that. We need a black waterproof marker and we'll just go over the Dyneema. There we are. Good. Then we want a drop of UV resin. Just 
just to secure the head. I'm going to give that a blast with our light. If you're using UV resin I do recommend this I have on a foot pedal connected to the mains and it really does make a big difference. So there we go so far. Then what I want is two eyes. Now this pattern is made specifically for fishing at night, hence the black colour, uh, to give a much better silhouette uh, when it's viewed by the fish. Oops, what's that? Aye. These are self glowing eyes, and if you want these to work, give them a flash with your camera flash before you start fishing, and they really do glow then, not just with a flashlight but with a with the flash of a camera. So I'll we'll go over here. I want to cover the head and the eyes. This also, if you get it into the weave of the easy body, what happens here is that it gives the pattern a little forward weight, which helps both in casting and uh, fishing direction. Give it another coat. There we are. That will do us. Then what we have to do now is we have to turn the fly around. I'll have to move the vise here so you can see. And then what we do is we, if you remember, we just singe the edges of that uh, tube. That will stop the Dyneema from slipping off. So, remembering to keep the tail correct. We just go over this like so. We pull our thread down. Then we make a simple overhand knot. And another one. just to hold everything in place. Oops. And we take the two pieces of thread together and remove them. Take our waterproof marker again. And just colour the Dyneema. Then what we need is our UV resin again. Be very sparse with this, you don't want to build it up too much. Over both sides. And just to secure it before we go further we'll just give it a blast with the UV light. Good. Now I'll turn it around again. So what we can do now is Trim down the tail if wished. A little bit more there. And if it needs a drop more 
UV resin and give it a drop more UV resin but that's uh, that's basically it that's the nocturnal sand eel great pattern fishing at night for uh, sea trout or striped bass and of course if you want it to float you can put some foam in the tube before you tie in the tail and if you want it to sink you can put some lead in the uh, easy body tubing so nice little pattern and with being black it gives a great silhouette at night um, and as you can see totally flexible so it's no no problem casting the wind or air passes through this it's aerodynamic and aquadynamic great pattern thanks for watching